How are you? Doing, man? I'm doing great, man. I feel great. How different does it feel today than it did as, as a true freshman last year going into camp day one? Oh, I feel totally different, man. You coming out here, you know a little bit what's going on. You know how we operate. You know how the system's going to work, how you organize things going into fall camp. So you feel a lot more better because you aware of what's going on. James, what do you feel like you have to prove this fall camp? Um, prove? I really don't have nothing to prove from my standpoint. I feel like I just want the best for this team. Whatever the best is for the team, that's what I want for the team so we can be successful. Coach Bell talked about the guy who wins the job is the, the guy who makes the other 10 guys better. What are some of the intangibles that you think are important to the quarterback position that you, that you bring to the table? Um, to be honest, I feel like all of us bring this to the table is just being great leaders and cheering on our teammates and being able to pick up one another. So it's really not just what I bring to the table, it's what all of us bring to the table. So I feel like everyone that's in this position is going to do a great job, but I feel like I just bring a, a little bit more leadership. But good is Tamori and Terry? Oh, Tamori and Terry is great, man. He's a good receiver, fast, little Georgia kid, man. He got that accent, too. <laughs> so, yeah, he's good, real good. He's going to build a great impact to this offense this year. James, you seem a lot more comfortable here than you've ever probably talked <laughs> to us. No, because um, uh, y'all thought that I didn't like it, but it don't matter. But I feel like this is a great situation to be in. I feel like it's a perfect situation for me to be in just so a lot of people can get to know me, but uh, it feels better now. <laughs> Wait, go in and Coach Stagger says you put on some pounds. How's, how has that process been? I've been going real well. I'm working with Coach O in the offseason. He's been helping me grind, helping me put on weight. He's been giving me the key to the key to success, if you want to say that. So I've just been taking all everything he's been telling me and just using it and trying to help myself better myself. How many, how many calories a day would you try to eat? Uh, ain't no telling. I try to eat every second I can. <laughs> <laughs> how much you, what last time you weighed in, where were you at? Uh, I was wearing that this morning at 178. James, 12, 12 months ago, could you have imagined that you'd be here now as a sophomore and a returning starter and, and be in the position that you're in? Uh, to be honest, nah. It was really like a dream come true. James, why should you win this starting job? Um, whoever wins the starting job, I feel like just need to be able to control the team, um, put the team in the best position that it need to be in. So, Why should you win the starting job? Why should I win the starting job? If I do what I just said, I should win the starting job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you, I mean, the coach Bell's message yesterday was kind of the, the guy who's going to win is the guy that the team's going to kind of make that decision for the staff. What does mm -hmm. that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Um, knowing that the players around you love you and feel like that you are the one that lead that can lead this team to success, that that's a great feeling. No matter who it is, that'll be a great feeling when that they come. Coach Bell said he, he doesn't care what happened last year before he got here. Is that a good or a bad thing for you? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, um, it really don't matter to me. Because it's, it's another opportunity right here in front of us. We just got to work. James, would you be disappointed if you didn't win the starting job? Oh, uh, no. No, not at all. Because everybody out there working it behind us all. How much more comfortable with the playbook do you feel having the spring under your belt and coming in the day one of fall? I feel a lot more comfortable knowing the things that we was going over in the spring. I know them a lot better um, by doing them over in the summer. So I feel a lot more comfortable with the playbook. Charm. Uh, in addition to adding the weight, I guess, what are the things that you tried to work on this offseason? Um, just throwing the ball better, just being a better teammate, to be honest. Being a better teammate is the most I've, most thing that I've been working on because I feel like if I can get everybody else around, this team would be great. It's not, a just about, it's not just about me, it's about the team. So I just want to find out the way that we help this team be successful. How do you go about doing that, being a better teammate? Um, just whenever I see somebody, I just smile and just help cheer them up. If they looking down, I just help cheer them up to see what's going on, how they day been. Just talking to them and communicating with your players is, is a help a lot. Do we make too big of a deal out of your weight? Nah, man, I just tell people this is a different type of weight, man. Coming from Muck City, this is a different type of weight. <laughs> Like you're constantly being watched and evaluated for you know how you perform on the field, how you carry yourself on um, the field, because you know that, that that's what guys are looking for. Most definitely, yeah, I do. But that's just that comes with the job. When you pick to play this position right here, quarterback, that just comes with the job description. So it's part of the job. You got to be used to it and get used to it. Have you ever been a part of a, a race like this where it seems like everybody's on pretty equal footing? Uh, nah, you do got you got. Oh, he's tall though. He's he's very tall to me. <laughs> but um, nah. Just kicking off camp, I mean, everything 